or... All right, Chad asked me a question. So I'm going to answer his question because his battery died. You've all had your battery die before, too. So he asked me about being the reaction to the number two seed and uh, and uh, the uh, and playing Wofford. So the seed the seeding thing, as I've discussed a couple of times, it's 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 the people talk about one, two, three, four seeds. None of us coaches really care about that, or at least this coach doesn't. It, just like the 13, 14, 15, 16, they just want to be in this tournament. And we're playing a good Wofford team. The Southern Conference has had Davidson there like crazy, and we all know how good Davidson's been in the NCAA tournament. Uh, the additional thing is, is Darius Nichols, one of their assistant coaches, he was one of the smartest, brightest uh, point guards I have ever had. Now I wish he really didn't understand our offense at all, but he knows everything about it. So we have a challenge with a guy on the other bench that will uh, he knows a lot what we do. A lot of teams in that bracket, Louisville, I mean Duke, I mean you had to at least notice that. Uh, I did not. I did not. I did notice who we would be playing next if we were fortunate enough to win, and I believe it was Texas and Arizona State. Arizona State. All right. So two good friends of mine too, it Rick and Herb. So, but we got to be Wofford first because they do a really good job with that team. What was the move coming off the loss and, and having to try to get back uh, up? I, I, th I think, you know, we snapped out of it like that, and we were really down after the game. And then all of a sudden, the media is done and says, hey, let's go watch the selection show. I mean, it's just like, okay, let's let's go back. It's I've been in that, that room when you lost the championship, and it meant you, didn't, you weren't going anywhere or maybe the NIT. This is huge. To walk from that room and go see us in the NCAA tournament, uh, it's terrific. John, how about playing close to home? Well, that's, that's big, and the NCAA has been so good at this in the last couple of years, finding teams and getting them close to home without putting them in their home arena. So it's, it's really good. You know, we have a great uh, fans all through the footprint of the Big Ten, uh, but, but particularly in that area, in the Chicago area, uh, hopefully we'll, we'll really draw well and we'll get all our, our, our faithful, so many of our faithful up there. John, are the seats overrated? You've got to win yeah, six games. Yeah, absolutely, without question. And like I said, there is so much discussion on that that is just wasted effort to me because why? what is the big deal? I mean, seriously, I'm sure these teams that were trying to figure out where are those last three seeds and where are those first three, they're all the same. Take the top 12 teams and there's a really a big difference between the one, two, three. The top 16 teams, the top four, there's not huge differences. Like teams that were number one uh, just a, a month ago right in the country are, are four or five seeds. They're the same team, they're good. What do you know about Wofford right off the bat? I uh, don't know a lot about them right now, but I will by tomorrow, and we'll spend a lot of days. We're going to give the kids the, 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 the good news is playing the championship. The bad news is on Sunday, you got a short turnaround with a Thursday game. So we got to give the, te the team off. So tomorrow will be a super study day uh, for our team, but we'll find out much. And our staff does a terrific job. I am sure that we have every game that goes up in the sky, and I'm sure the Southern Conference Championship game and semifinals, we have captured on video, and it'll be on my computer by probably the time I land. Will you call Mikel up? Uh, you know, I, I, I would, but I, I, no, I, I would if it was if he had played him and it wasn't in the conference. But they, he, he, he wouldn't give me information, and he shouldn't, and so I wouldn't even put him in that position. Right. Well, this game. How did uh, outcome today have any impact on how you feel about your team? Right no, absolutely. <laughs> I mean, this Michigan State team we lost to is terrific. And I mean, they have, they have such experience, they have such athleticism, they got such a great coaching staff. I mean, uh, for us to win two out of three this year, it was a great accomplishment. For us to win the conference is, the, is a great accomplishment. Yeah, we would like to have it all, but no, we just move on because we really feel good about what this team accomplished, the direction of our program. So there, nothing, nothing you saw today shook any of No, no, you're, you're, you're going to have days like that, just like, you know, when we lose at Iowa or, or we lost at Indiana, you know, we lost to Wisconsin at home. All right, you're going to have days like that and credit the other team and move on. Don't make excuses. What do they say about the way the program has gotten now? The two seed is whole hum. Yeah, we're there, but well, we yeah, got more no, work we're not whole hum right now. I mean, I, I want our guys to be really excited, and they are excited about this. Um, so, but the fact that Jordan Morgan's been in four NCAA tournaments, uh, he knows the the. They all know that the, the great run we went on last year, how much fun that was. But several of these guys were on a team with a first round loss too. So we really just got to work like crazy just to make sure we can play basketball as long as we can play at this March. Is there a certain excitement of getting outside the Big Ten, outside of teams that know you well? I, I think every school in the uh, in, in, or every university in the country gets excited about playing somebody else that they haven't seen twice or three times during the year. Uh, and I think we all root for each other as well. So uh, it's, it is good, but it doesn't mean it's going to be easier. It's just a different mindset.
I think Glenn's had five rebounds in the last two games. Is he one guy that you would need to be a little more aggressive to have success? Well, in this today tournament? was going to be tough rebounding just because they, that, that is what they do and they're really good at and they're yep. very athletic. So, uh, I, you know, hey, Glenn continues to do good things at different times. None of our guys had a great game today, and we just but we've been really playing well, so we got to pick up where we left off. Thanks, Thank you. Okay, thanks, thanks everybody. Thank you.